Let me tell you this, your website would have already been accepted by Google AdSense if you applied the exact steps that actually no one wants you to know. This clearly proves why my first site wasn't approved unlike my second one, which was accepted upon the first review request. So without wasting any more time, let's jump straight to the video. So first and foremost, we need to ensure that every website contains these necessary pages. Privacy policy, terms and conditions, and contact us. Also, we shouldn't forget that our website should have a menu with organized categories and we're using a clean and simple theme. This way, our website will look even more professional. So up to this point, we have only discussed the structure that a website should have. Let's focus now on the content, which is a crucial step, especially for a blog website. Always remember that your content must be unique without any duplication from other websites. This was actually one of the main reasons why Google AdSense rejected my first site, because after I put my blog page through a plagiarism checker, the tool found some duplicated content. Upon checking the source, all of it was from Medium, which is actually my Medium account. Essentially what I was doing was publishing my blog on my website and on Medium, which made Google AdSense consider this as duplicated content. And one more thing, you can use AI as a writing assistant, but not as a writing generator. As for the number of articles you can create, between 20 to 40 would be enough. So before moving to the further steps, let me give you an offer that you can't refuse. If you want to make a website without any extra charge, I recommend Pawn Hoster Solution, where you can get a lifetime hosting for your website without any cost. For more details, make sure to check out these two videos, where I explained everything you need to know to start building your website. Now let's jump to the advanced settings you should set in your site. So before applying to Google AdSense, you need to make sure that your website is indexed by Google using Google Search Console. And to make it easier for Google to index your content effectively, you have to generate a sitemap for your website, which is like a roadmap that helps search engines discover all the pages on your site. Beside that, it's essential to set up some additional text files on your website to optimize the process. Robots.txt file and ads.txt file are very important to ensure that Google's ad crawlers can properly analyze your site's content. Lastly, traffic. Having visitors on your website is important, but it's not the only factor that determines Google AdSense approval. For example, if you check pawnhoster.com, it doesn't have that much traffic, and yet it still got approved which determines that getting 10K visitors per month is not necessary as some others claim. So always focus on creating good content and following these technical guidelines to increase your chances of approval. Thank you for watching.